You ready? No. Historic preservation consultants use high-tech equipment to get a look inside nearly 120 pieces of stone that once stood outside the War Department during the Civil War. The ionic stone columns were part of the department's entrance, which were dismantled in April of 1879 and moved to Arlington National Cemetery, where they were re-erected and repurposed as gates. The gate stood until the early 1970s, which at that time the cemetery was expanding and the repurposed gates were not big enough to allow vehicle traffic through. They were taken down about 41 years ago and have been stored in a back part of Arlington Cemetery since then. Today, the forensic conservators are going over the stone elements with a proverbial fine-tooth comb, checking the stone's structural integrity. We're fairly intensively looking at each and every piece of stone to determine where there are non-visual issues. Pretty easy to see where the stone has been damaged visually, but what we're looking for are issues that are not visible to the naked eye, and that's what we're using the technology for. Metal on this these two bolts. Technology including ground penetrating radar and ultrasonic testing will give conservators a good picture on the stone's ability to be reassembled, which is eventually the ultimate goal for the cemetery, to have the historic stones once again standing as a proud memorial over the graves of the nation's servicemen and women. After weeks of gathering data in the field, the conservators now take that information back to their shop where they will run data analysis through computers. It'll take us a good month to go through the data and analyze it and possibly longer to generate the kind of report that we want to do to do justice to this project. A project for a location that, according to Liebman, is a once-in-a-lifetime event. It's a real career-defining moment. You know, I'm, I'm reaching kind of the tail end of my career, and this is something that really just is one of those special moments. From Arlington National Cemetery, Patrick Bloodgood.